debut album in the streets. Officially ranked. Officially ranked. It's a banger. It's a banger. Angers on my shirt and it's reeking on me And if you trying to work it out, girl, you need to show me And I was trying to be faithful, but the greed is on me And the girls at the club Thanks for tuning in to this season of Love and Hip Hop Detroit It's a lot that comes along with this territory New relationships, new careers, old relationships And different situations on life But with this episode and going over the reviews of this season You'll see how it really is now let's review some of the past events of this season. I'm your host for the reunion, Tree Chambers, the bag lady. Roll that footage. Now fuck you, man. Get the fuck on. I don't want to hear all that dumb ass shit. Watch out, man. Get the fuck on. Fuck me. Watch out, man. Get the fuck on. you talk about what I've been through because I'm not heartless. Went through hell and back even the garden. <laughs> well, maybe we I'm should go together so, you know, you're not... Just maybe we should, that's something we should do together. Fucking you over or nothing like that. I'll never do that. You already know that. Be there. Okay, you gotta put your finger on Well, Phil, you already know. You gonna do it. But you want a Charger or a Lexus or a Benz or? Okay. I'm wearing a record chick, so I'll take the Charger. That's just my fucking. He's not nigga, bro! Oh, man. That's good, man. Yeah. I ain't seen you a minute. I know, right? I heard you on your girl doing good. Yeah, we cool. Pencil. Yo, oh! yeah, sis. Yo, you cannot fuck with my metaphors and syllables. Lyrically chopping your head off and stuffing your body parts and pillows. I'm going to shoot this last motherfucking jump shot. If I make it, the video's on you, nigga. All right. If I miss it, McDonald's on me. Uh, oh, Benny's on you, man. <laughs> the previous footage from the season, we're sitting here now with Boom and Beautiful. Let's get him a round of applause, please. Hi, Beautiful. So what's been going on with you, girl? I heard you started a brand. What's going on with that? Oh, yes. I started my company. It's called Pure Stage. Mm -hmm. And I have full divas. Okay. And what is, exactly is your profession? Like, what is it that you actually do? Well, I'm looking forward to producing a couple of people and working with artists. Um, yeah, the record companies. So how long have y'all two been together? We got to catch up these followers. They all want to know. How long really have y'all two been together? We've been so, friends yeah, for uh, quite a while. Long time. <laughs> friends. We've been friends for quite a while. We've been in a relationship for a little over a year now. Will y'all be getting married anytime soon? Church I mean, bells? It, it could be in the future. Is there any church bells ringing beautiful? You never know what the future might bring. Well, I love I love Boom, so you know, he's the first too. thing on my mind. <laughs> and what do you feel about the work he does? I was worried about Boom when he got hurt. Yeah, cause you got shot, right? Shoot that nigga, man. Hey! Oh. Oh. What the? Oh, shit. What happened? Oh, shit. Oh, oh, let me down. 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 Oh
Oh, man, we're going to talk about that in a minute. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Go ahead, beautiful. What'd you say now? I was really worried about him. He took the time off um, after he came from the hospital. He was just... Oh my god, I was just so worried. It was just. Aww. She nurses me back to help. You feel me? Yeah. I'm back. You feel me? Them niggas better watch out. Okay. Real talk. And I see you got your little secure, the secure us. Look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. surrounded. People are in here. He got mega tight security. Real in this bitch. You feel me? I mean, so I mean, the first episode. I mean, well, the first season you got shot, right? Well, the first episode. I'm sorry, this season you got shot. I'm sorry. What do you think the reprimands behind that was? Just hate me. They hate me. You can't be mad. You can't you can't knock me down. You feel me? How are you now? Seeing you got your new woman in sight, seeing that you're doing good, how are you now? I'm good, but you feel me? But I can't erase the past, you feel me? Mm hmm Them niggas got something coming. What is it? Why? You, what, what is it about Detroit rappers? I heard you say when you first came shit. home, you like, fuck these Detroit You feel me? I, I, got a, I got a job to do, you feel me? So, niggas didn't think I'd return, but I'm back for y'all silly rabbit ass nigga. If I gotta fuck up these niggas' playhood to, to, to live my life and pay my bills, I'm gonna do it. You okay. feel me? They call me Captain Samuel Ho. I just say the ladies' hearts, you feel me? I don't wear this S on my chest for no reason. <laughs> But what is the situation though? What is the situation with you and Detroit rappers? What is the situation? You I mean, gotta fill it in. You gotta it's, it's not it's not me having something against the Detroit rappers. It's the ladies that call my line and say, hey, my man, he ain't doing this, he ain't doing that. And it just so happened to be these whole ass Detroit rappers. You feel Do you me? think that you damage other people's relationships by you putting Fuck them niggas and fuck that? they brand. I don't give a fuck. I got a job to do. I gotta pay my own bills. Okay. Well. And that's for real. Well, we got an award to give to you, too. You got an award for me? Yes, I for the it. number one reality TV show. Straight. Give them a round of applause for the creature. So, look, you like that? Hell yeah, I like it. So, look, what's going on with y'all? What, 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 you got to tell me? Will, will we be seeing y'all next season? Never know what the future might bring. They gonna see us next season, baby. Of course. Of course. Y'all give it up for them, man. <laughs> they in love. Everybody needs some type of love somewhere, somehow. Next guest, Bless in China. What you been working on? You got some new projects dropping? You got some new things going on with yourself? Tell us what's going on. I've uh, been in the studio heavy lately. I got uh, Q9 Precious Black coming. You know, we got Black Precious Black coming. We got Star Hard Real coming. Okay. Major features. You know, I have a host by Shorty Riggs. You know, we'll get okay. And I see you got a new woman too. Yeah. Hey. For real. <laughs> How that's working out? Y'all all right? How's your relationship? I think it's time for you to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, all right. So you trying to tell me how to get the way up? Yeah, you can pack your shit and go. Oh, if that's you. the shit you gonna be on, nigga, I can get my own money. I been getting money before you came. Okay, all right, that's all right. Got a crib. Doing any baby shopping? You bought any new baby Jordans? Right. You bought anything right. new? You bought anything for the baby? What's going on? I've been going hard. I've been uh, spending a couple of dollars up trying to make something happen. You know? How does it feel to be an ex expecting dad? How does it feel for you to, you I mean, know, I how does that feel? I love the babies. I love the little ones. You know, so okay. I feel like it's a blessing. Without those, we're going to have no direction. Really. Are you excited? Okay. That's what's up. Well, I've been hearing a lot of things, but 
Um, I don't think it's my place to go there, so I'm just gonna wait, and I'll come back and ask you those questions later, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on you. What's going on, China? Yo, with your hands together. What's going on with you? What's going on? The boutique's finally up and running. Mm -hmm. I got a hair salon coming. Okay. It'll be open in March of 2015. So I'm really excited. Okay. So, you know, and what's the name of it? What's the name of it? Can't disclose anything right now. Just be on the lookout. Well, I saw it, and I don't mean to spill the tea. <laughs> but y'all know don't I'm a bag lady, and I know please, everything. No. <laughs> Isn't it the Diva Swimwear? It's gonna be well, yeah, that's the boutique, but that's not the, the name of the hair salon. Okay, you know, the okay. boutique, everything just sell itself. So it's just online. It's going good. Business real good. Once he got you a new man too. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. What's the difference between him and Sacred? Like, God over Sacred the first day, and you was just in love. Like, Sacred well, was, was that guy. You know? Well, he's mine. You know, like I don't have to share him. It's okay. Not, you know, yeah. You know, so. That special connection, yeah. the feeling that you're in love with someone. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about you know, no other women or nothing. He's just mine. Yeah. So, with this being said, and he's yours, is the situation between y'all two right? Uh, so far, so good. Yeah. yeah. It's good. It's good. What is this secret you gotta tell your man then? Oh. Cause it's secrets, y'all. Somebody <laughs> lied to this motherfucker. <laughs> Come on with it, girl. This is bullshit. Tell them how you feel. I told you not to shop for the baby and stuff without me. Because I wasn't for sure what I wanted to do. I wasn't for sure if I wanted to keep it or not. You know, I've been back and forth over it in my mind. Like, so what are you sound like? With, all right, even so, what's the truth? It's no baby. Oh! That's that bullshit. So, what you saying? So, you, you, you don't disrespect me. Yeah. And then I'm out here risking my motherfucking life, getting this motherfucking money, doing That's what I gotta do. That's the problem. That's the problem. And you just gonna play with me about That's my baby? That's the problem. You're never home, you're never around. So why would I have See, a baby by somebody who's never around? You're never around. You're but I'm doing, well, but I'm no doing my part. Well, there's no baby. But I'm doing my motherfucking part. there's no baby. But I'm doing my part. Did you lose the baby? Did you lose the baby? Did you lose the baby? I didn't lose the baby. I went to the clinic. <laughs> 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 So you play with me, so you just gonna play with my life while I'm out here I'm working. I'm not playing with your life. Man, I that shit, man. Oh, 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 Sacred and blood. We also still got China over here on the other side of the couch, so just to let y'all know China's here. We're gonna go ahead and start with sacred. Stupid dough, stupid dough, getting stupid dough, stupid dough, getting stupid dough. I will fuck your girl, but sacred through this whole season or whatever I see that you've been with. Wait, I mean, I mean, not when I'm sorry, but blunt. How is everything going on with you and blunt? How is that relationship taking us off? This is my baby right here. Look at her. She's just so fabulous and just, just everything a nigga need right now. You feel me? You happy with her? I'm very happy. I'm great, you know? So what was the difference more so than being with her than being with China when y'all had y'all out Well, you know, China's cool. You know, nothing. I can't take anything away from China, you know? But I really got a chance to really experience Blunt, you know, waking up to Blunt, going to bed with Blunt, you know, just and just having those type of conversations that you can only really have when it's somebody that's on your level. You know? Right. So, you know, I, it's a lot of things. We play video games and stuff, you know, we good like the Tekken, you know, stuff like that. So we spend <laughs> all time together, you know, like on some some real shit, you know, so I fuck with her. 
And um, I was peeping certain things when you was telling her throughout, you know, the last couple episodes when you was telling her that you couldn't really afford to pop off the way you wanted to, the way y'all used to pop off. I mean, a lot of our followers want to know where I me, mean, are you going broke? I mean, what, the money well, ain't where it's supposed to be? You know, really though, um, it depends on what your definition of broke is, you know. So, if you're a type of nigga that think that, you know, that making six figures, you know, is broke, then that's up to you. Right. You know, so I'm just trying to make sure that we prioritize the money, make sure that we don't really splurge. And like, you know, I'm trying to invest like forty thousand dollars into my project. Okay. So for me to do that, I can't spend that forty on Balenciagas, Versace, right. you know, and you know, it's time out for that. You know, once we invest money, it take money to make money. Shout out to my nigga Stretch Money too. Yeah. It take money to make money. So you know, we gotta invest into the right stuff right now. You know. And speaking about money and putting it towards your project and things like that, what are yeah. some things that you've been working on as far as? Oh, you go, know, it, baby. Know. I got it. <laughs> Uh, Magnums and Lifestyles, uh, that's my LP, you know, that's about to drop, you know, that got the single on that stupid dome, a lot of new songs, man, that people don't like, and uh, so I've been working on that really, I've been having to clear samples, you know, those samples, they cost yeah, a lot of money, so once again, you know, I can't really afford to buy a SAR, you know, because that's what I gotta do, I gotta invest into that, you right. know, so clearing samples, so the project is real dope. I think it's my best project right now, you know, that I ever did, so, you know, and then I'm working on a mixtape, Top Gun. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, me and Nate Jones, we got a, um, a project coming out, uh, just me and him, you know, so me and Nate Jones, we got a joint dropping together, you know, it's gonna be nice, we gonna represent the world nature, so. We doing it, you know, get at us, man, for the features, man. You know, I look out for the love, for any, any rapper that wanna collab or whatever, you know. Now let's get into this thing as far as with Blunt. I mean, will she be getting a ring? <coughs> <sighs> All I want to say is, I don't like, <coughs> this is my baby, she know where she at, you know, but I just don't like to put like a label or expectation <coughs> on something, you know, so I'm pretty much just enjoying Blunt right now. Okay. And I know that Blunt can be around to receive a ring. Yeah. So that's what's up. Well, but a lot of people say, and a lot of people say that you're just in it for the money. No way, I'm so A lot sorry. of people don't think that you are in love with Sanford. A lot of girls have been saying that they feel like China was a better woman for him from last season, but that's neither here nor there. I'm just saying, a lot of people right. felt this though, you were just in it for the money. You know, I hear that a lot, you know what I'm saying? Interpretation or your explanation about what happened at the water that day. That shit was so crazy. <laughs> I just don't want my baby to get hurt. You know what I'm saying? This is my heart, my love. But still, what, what, elaborate. <laughs> I think it was some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? The whole little thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With the coming to our you know section, then with the girl who comes on. She was. I was, she thought I was in for the money. I don't even know where she come from. You know hey, real shit, real shit, real quick. Real quick, though. To get on your real, quick, real quick, though. I'm going to just say something. I done seen Blunt mop up some females before in the club. Mm -hmm. So, you know, is it, it's two females. They going back and forth. <laughs> Stand there for that, you know? I would, and I think I'm going to need an applause on this one because <laughs> I just have to bring this out. Why would just some spontaneous bitch come up to your woman and explain to her how she was so unfit? Why are you asking me that? I mean, I can't control what people do. Do I get an applause on that one? I mean, think about it. <laughs> Telling me that my man, that I'm not fit for my man, I would have to think that there's something going on behind that. It would have to be something behind it. It just wouldn't be nobody just coming up to me talking to me. What the mother? Look, look, look. I'm not bagging on you either, but.
flat out. This is just one hundred. Sacred, are you messing with that chick? Why would she didn't even have the reason to even step to her? I mean, you know, I just look at it like this: when you that nigga, it's a female that wanna be that chick. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So she just, she was throwing shots. She was throwing shots. That's all it was. You know what I'm saying? But, oh girl, you know what I'm this saying? I probably seen her. Shots. I done seen her before. This is probably, shots to score. Might I say that. And she can, I mean, but she has <laughs> She wants scoring score in this one. Okay, that's all I know. She wants scoring in this one. Yeah, man. I ain't, I ain't fuck with her though. I ain't fuck with her though. You know what I'm saying? Do you see yourself married? Yes, I do. I always have do. She said that very adamantly. <laughs> No fast go, no collect two hundred dollars. Hell no. Let's yeah. get it. Yeah, she would. <laughs> so if Saber was to go broke, nothing at all. He can't take you shopping. Can't do all the shit that he I'm came good. in doing. I'm good. You know I'm good. We're good. That's what it is. Hey, but look though, man, I don't believe in going broke though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, like if, if anybody got something to say, yo, say you're going broke and all of that, go ahead and talk, nigga, because I'll show up to your party, your birthday party, mm -hmm. your performance, whatever it is, my nigga, and we'll buy that club out and kick your ass out of it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it ain't about going broke. Niggas just gotta learn how to spend their money, man. Just like niggas can get deals. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people get deals, you know, but they spend all that money on bullshit and then they can't even find their problems. Projects, they can't take care of their family. You know, I'm not one of them niggas, man. I just like to think ahead and shit, man. And we good, man. We eating, we good, man. Y'all catch us on the boat, man. When I warm up, y'all oh, gotta yeah. see it, man. We, we, we got a nice boat. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Well, we y'all heard it here. Yeah. Lady from, from Lady Blunt, and you heard it from Sacred. All day. We're gonna go ahead and take another break, and then we're gonna come back with a separate interview from another cast member. So, y'all tune in, go get your. Yo, just a pillow, whatever you need to get. Just tune back in, love and hip hop and trade y'all. Wolf Nation, baby. We're sitting here with Daddy and Quinn. Give him a round of applause for them.
you yeah. hurt? Was it because you wanted to feel some type of way? No, 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 he did not what? move on, boo boo. And I'm gonna say something because that's my girl, and I'm not about to let nobody play her. When, when y'all came up there, you was all in so her you call, face. You know what I'm saying? With another bitch. How did you gonna be in my girl face when you got another did? bitch with you? That don't even so make she, no sense. She ain't in no relationship. What she you ain't. Call that's you cheated on her. Man. She can do anything that she wants to. She she was telling me she gon' she gon' find she another girl to do this and do that. Really, it's still she told oh. me like, oh. you know, like, oh. like, No, it wasn't it. right. We going to have fun, and nobody expect her to be. You knew she was gonna be there. Yeah, I know. I and know. that's why you brought your new guy with you. No, <laughs> damn. See what I'm saying? That's your first one. You, that's your girl. You gonna try to take over? Yeah, that is my girl. You see, I'm laughing at shit like right, that. Right, but that's okay, funny. so I'm just saying it is very funny that y'all came up to the lake. Okay, and yeah, we want to no, take her. Damn, we can't take a dip in the lake. Why are you shit? all up in my girl face? Wait, though? Wait, 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 she was across the water. Hold on, she was across the water, okay. across the okay. water on a fucking little rock bigger than. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She was bigger than a rock. If you knew. If a man brings another woman to a place that he knows his ex is in presence of, that generally means that the man is in over that her. woman and trying to stunt. Am I right, lady? Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 So what you call her when we got the word? She was all up in her dude's face. That wasn't. You was talking to her. You was talking to her. I was talking to her. You was talking to her. What you mean? I'm an artist. Okay, let's let's ask this one. Wait a minute. Let's ask this. Are you over? Man, been over it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's still my dog, whatever, you know what I'm saying? She no. called me, I look out, whatever, but no. He lying, he lying. I was with her last week. You I was with her last week, you was blowing up her phone. I'm going with my own eyes. You was blowing up her phone. Oh, that's what I'm saying. You was blowing up her phone. Yes, girl. 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 We be willing to take a lie detector test. Like that, if this is your new woman, would you be willing to take a lie detector test? Yeah, I'll take a lie detector test. For sure. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, let's move on, Queen. Let's move on, Queen. Let me ask Queen some questions because I mean it's obvious that I don't know whether to believe you or not because no way that I'm gonna bring my new thing around my old thing unless I wanna make that thing jealous. Did what I'm saying, but I'll let you have your family and stuff. How long have you been with him? We've been together for a couple months now. You happy? Mm -hmm. I'm very happy. So, when you came to Lake with him, did you know that Tisha was going to be there? No, I didn't. Man, it didn't no. matter if she was there. Why was she with him? That's who I really didn't care. You so, didn't care that the first no, one went? He told we me they were done. So, I'm just. Okay, I'm we're just at that ball. They, he told me they was done. Then when you, if you didn't care, why would you trying to fire her? I wasn't trying to fire her. It was the way she approached me. Like, oh, you brought your new she thing. Like, up. like you. But right. you shouldn't have brought your new thing and you knew she was going to be there. Gully, you did this shit on purpose. No, I came to have fun. And <laughs> I thought she would have done her new thing, too. Okay, so do you want to fight, Teach? I don't have a problem with her. You don't have no problem. Hey, my fault she lost that man. Oh! 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 She didn't lose him. She um put him in the trash where he belonged. You know, you know what I'm saying? And what? 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 And I'm about to make trash cans look good if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't oh. think I, I don't think I stepped down not one bit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Well, girl. Do you have you play Quinn? Do you have any problems with any other women on the cast from the cast of the show? Any problems with anyone? I mean, blunt. What you got? Oh. Oh.
that. Girl, what? Oh. Believe it. Believe what it. What you just saying? Oh, I'm not gonna repeat myself. Girl, I'm fine. Believe that. Girl, like I said, it's every day. Whatever you at. Whatever you at. Whatever you at. Okay, roll up. So what's the problem? If you, if it, I mean, why, why don't you use it some type of way? Because, because she, why would she try to hold it? It was only one day. Married now, but you know, it just didn't go down like that. So, the nature happy also. Look at that. Y'all gotta put your hands together for that one more time. When I take a chick out on a date, that's the way of life. I've been busting nuts up on her face every day and night. She don't want a baby bottle scrub, that's the way of life. Now she back to shopping in the club. <laughs> Well, I'm going to start this off, and I don't mean to be derogatory, but I have followers that have asked me to ask these questions, and I'm going to start shit, but what's the difference between you and her, as far as with Nate? And you hold your mouth, too, because I'm going to ask you the same thing. What's the difference between The proof is in the pudding. He was with me before. As everybody see, he came back to me. I didn't come running back to him. He came back to me, so, you know, like... That ain't none of my business with them. You know, all I can do is just hold me down while he with me. Because that's what a real chick is supposed to do, you know? And how do you take all this pressure? It seems like everybody just, yeah, yeah, with you. I mean, you, you know what? It comes, it comes with the shine, you know? If people wasn't hating, then I wouldn't, I'm not doing my job right. Yeah, so people on YouTube saying that you shake like a built a bitch. Like a bitch or <laughs> but you know what? You know what? Nate, he loved my thick ass, so I ain't even tripping about nothing. And you best believe that half of the motherfuckers that's talking shit be in my inbox trying to holler, so I'm not even tripping about nothing. Look, look, I'm not worried about winner either. Like, if she's, if she want to be naive and play to Nate Jones game, then that's on her, you know. I seen Nate where he really was, and that's why we're not together right now. What? Well, I was just thinking, you know, we could probably just, like, be friends. Uh, friends? Yeah. Oh, so, it is what it is. I'm just going to let her have, yeah. Okay, let's congratulate winner on her battle rap. She won her battle rap. Let's give her a round of applause. Cause what, bitch? You thought this was gonna be an easy win? Bitch, you thought this was gonna be an easy win? Bitch, you thought this was gonna be an easy win? Bitch, you thought this was gonna be an easy win? 
But more I thought, think again. A beast in these streets gonna be fooled by the light skin. So what do you have coming next for you? What's going on with you? What are your next upcoming events? Are you in the next season? Come on, tell your followers what's going on. <laughs> That's a surprise. We don't have a big bang, you know. But um, I'm waiting for somebody to challenge me. So if anybody want to challenge me and come and take my crown, because I am the motherfucking <laughs> queen, then come and get it, because I'm not scared of nobody. So who any whoever wanted can come and get it. And, you know, I'm dropping the poetry book um, December 15, 2014, just in time for Christmas. So hi, haters. You know, go pop that book and that mixtape, because it's going to be bananas. So watch out. So Nate, was it worth breaking up with him? Was it worth? Okay. Me and to put you on blast like that, cause ain't nobody trying to make you seem like the whole ass nigga in this situation. <laughs> but I just gotta ask these questions. questions. Yeah. I mean, what is it, Nate? I mean, we we had fun, you know what I'm saying? It, we, you know, we we'll always be friends, Miss Nia, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I, yeah, I gotta go with her. Did you feel a certain way about the things that Nia did to you? What's the problem with Nia? You gotta get deep off and that's what I was trying to understand. Cause you made it seem like it was way more than fun. Uh, I think I got I got accustomed to chasing her. You know what, Nate? We all know Nate is gonna do what he wanna do. So like. To me, this is not typical. You know, this is so typical to me when he do this behavior. You know, I love you, boo. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not surprised when he did that to you because I know how he is. I know how he is. And that's well, why he came I was surprised. He came to me as a total different person. And he's like a total different person. Like what? Yeah, I'm like the way he approached me, you know, the things he did for me and what he was saying to me and everything. Like we just vibe so well and he just gave me the bomb like, Oh, you think it's funny? Yeah, yeah. Uh, typical nigga. Uh, typical nigga. Don't, don't typical Nate, Nate though. Don't, I, I'm, I'm talking to you right now. Nate. I'm talking to Nate. Okay? Nate. I know. I know this though. Nate. I think this man was so long. When are you stupid long enough? When are you stupid long enough? Nate, Nate. 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 Nate
Oh, you know, okay. Well. So you're pregnant now. So yeah. that means you said it's over with you and that you have oh, no feelings whatsoever no, for Nate. No, no, no. And you are his ex. Yes. yes. It's clarified. It's always clarified, specified. You don't love him anymore? All that. No. You don't love him no. at all anymore. She lied. No. Right? No, no, no. Because first off, when you really love someone, you don't think they feel it's like that. And he should have never strung me along like that, knowing he had feelings still for his ex. So what's the difference between you and Winter? Like I asked Winter, what's the difference between when you love someone, you don't think they feel it's like that. And he should have never strung me along like that, knowing he had feelings still for his ex. So what's the difference between you and Winter? Like I asked Winter, what's the difference between you and you? Well, me? It's a hell of a difference because when I start, she knows my level. Oh, uh, she asked me yeah. not to yeah. don't make me get up before I sweep you. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. so oh, 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 I don't know. Okay. 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 On my cousin. Yeah, well, you know, that's that's how we you know to I'm me saying? it was because my mother told me to call him whenever I needed him. No, yeah, I told him to call him that So that was, was so I knew because we could. I mean, he didn't want his time. So it is what it is. It's not a good look for you right now, homegirl. I'm telling you because something would happen to my cousin. Please believe me.
function. There's no time. There's no time. So, so your clothing line is doing good, you warm about that now. It's a lot of our followers. See, I couldn't really have you here with Nate Jones because I didn't know what was going on with you two. I need you to elaborate on that beef with y'all. Y'all still beefing and y'all patched the beef up. What is going on? Gotta tell you. I don't beef with little guys, man. I mean, I'm doing too much out here to be beef with anybody. If it ain't about the money, then it ain't nothing to talk about. I mean, this girl's easy. How did it start, though? You have to elaborate on it. Catch a lot of our followers up because they was wondering, like, what? I mean, this girl was easy. He, he, he was he emotional. I ain't emotional. I mean, she. When you was, say this girl, are you talking about winner? Yeah, I man. He said. You hit. I mean, it was what it was. Real man, don't talk about it. It was what it was. I seen the opportunity. I took it. I ain't right. talking about nothing but my collar. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's crazy. I don't really think he would appreciate that. That's why we couldn't have y'all two men in the same vicinity and doing this one on one thing. Is there any way that you and Nate could patch up your beat? Maybe cash out. <laughs> cash me out. If you can, is it any way that you and Nate Jones can be patch your beat? If it ain't about the money, cash it out. Other than that, I don't, I don't, I don't cry with bullshit like that. I don't be for nobody that ain't known. Mm. So show me a single that's doing units like mine. Show me a video <laughs> that's hotter than mine. Show me a clothing line you got. Right. I mean, you got somebody. Are you sour? Do you, are you sour? Oh, I be sour. I That's what a lot of people wanted to know. A lot of people say, are you sour? Why would I be sour over something I got fast, quick? Is there anything that you want to say? Like what? It was easy. It was, it was easy. It was, I didn't even have to spit that much game. Uh-huh. Told him to sit on my lap one day and talk about the first thing that popped up. <laughs> <laughs> and it popped off like popcorn. Oh, really? I don't know. She was trying to make him jealous, but shit, I got what I wanted. Conversation would be nicer. Well, I think that it could be something that could be done between you and me. I think that could be. Like what? Anything. What could it be done between you guys? I mean, I told you I ain't beef with nobody. I ain't doing this like you was the point. Okay. Well, Mr. Crispy, that's really all we wanted to ask you going on with y'all too but like I said is there anything that you want to elaborate on and say? I'm about to go back on my projects and go do some more business with some people that want to do business with me and get this cash. Can we see you on the next season? Are we going to see you on the next season? I might turn it down on money. As long as they cash me out we can talk. I ain't talking about no money. I'm good. Talk about well, yeah. money. Looks like we might be seeing Mr. Crispy in the next season, you guys. Looks like we might be seeing Mr. Crispy in the next season. But it, won't, so. it won't be with winners, though. Might be with this chick named China. She's so pretty to me, though. So we in the next season. Love and let's talk to each other. Love and Hip Hop Detroit, what's up? Once again, I'm your host, Tree Chambers, and I'm here with my very, very, very exclusive interview with Tisha 100. Remember I told y'all she was busy at the time, so I had to do a separate interview with her. Well, was gonna do Skype, but I invited her to the privacy of my own home so that we can sit here and kick it, you know what I'm saying? So, once again, put y'all hands together for Tisha 100. What's up, T? Dropping songs, you mm -hmm. know, I'm working on a couple of little hot videos. I mm -hmm. got some little hot stuff coming, so you know, just been focusing on my music mm -hmm. and just doing me. Okay, so what went on with you and Gully? I mean, that relationship between y'all this season was kind of crazy. Can you elaborate more on it for our followers? Westside niggas, cheating ass niggas, dog. What you mean? It ain't even like that, What you mean? You want to with because a lot of them are trying to figure out what's going on with that. I know, just from the first episode, it kind of started off crazy, you know, but 
it was only because I was having an intuition. I just felt like he was doing something, man. I actually caught him up in something, man. It is what it is. I'm so I seen that you and old girl got into it at the lake, and I know that you said that you and Gully was over with. But what was up with that? <laughs> Cause I spoke with her also, and she was really ready. And you know, you had a couple of, you had a couple that stood up for you and went in for bats for you also. Maybe everybody was at the lake having a good time. What was your point in bringing her? Was it because you wanted to feel some type of way? No, 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 he did not move on, boo boo. He and I'm gonna say something because that's my girl. Okay, I and I'm not about to let nobody play her. When when y'all came up there, you was on in so her you face. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, how what you gonna be in my girl face? You got another bitch with you. That don't even so make she, no sense. She ain't in no relationship. But I mean, what was it? Cause old girl was ready to pop off. I know. And by the way, shout out to my home girls that was standing up saying something. You know what I'm saying? But about her, whatever. You know, she lucky I missed the reunion. You know, I'm kind of mad I did. Well, actually, I am mad, but. Really, I ain't really had no beef with her. I mean, I was talking to Gully because Gully started talking sideways to me, and I don't give a fuck if she was standing there or not. And she tried to. I was asking her. Gully the same thing, like, why would you bring her there if you knew Tish was gonna be there? And he was trying to be so nonchalant, acting like. Cause he knew what he was doing, trying to make me jealous, but I don't care. Cause like I said, downgrade. Mm. <laughs> downgrade. I mean, you know, but it is what it is. Do you see yourself being back with Gully? <laughs> straight you, know you didn't say I that see, to be kind of bad. i see what type of girls he like you know what i'm saying y'all seen from the show you know crease all that so i mean i'm good <laughs> so you good i have not said it's really over there yes. we're gonna see you in the next season what's been going on we're gonna see you yeah. Y'all heard it here first for the one on one exclusive interview with Tish 100, Love and Hip Hop Detroit. Hope you tune in. Once again, I'm your host, Tree Chambers, the Bad Baby. Tune in. In this quest to success of Love and Hip Hop Detroit, we are obligated to acquire anything that makes us greater. Situations happen, love is lost, and most importantly, happiness is gained. We conclude this season of Love and Hip Hop Detroit Season 2, and make sure you tune into our next season where we gain and develop even stronger toward our accomplishments. To be a part of Love and Hip Hop Detroit, please contact at Mr. Love and Hip Hop at Yahoo.com. Once again, I'm your host for Love and Hip Hop. Detroit season two, Trish Chambers, the bag lady, and you can follow me on Twitter, bag lady 313, Trish Chambers on Facebook, or Instagram, bag lady 313. Deuces, you might even see me from the song. Tune in. Love and Hip Hop Detroit.